The yeah. symptoms I should be worried about after eating this is like suddenly my muscles aren't working. I can't uh, move. Yes, puffer fish poison is uh, very, very dangerous. The poison hit my muscle quickly. <gasps> Finally, we cannot please. Prepare to be horrified as we uncover the 20 deadliest foods lurking in kitchens around the world. From the shocking delicacy of monkey brains to worm-infested cheese and innocuous-looking leaves that hide deadly toxins, these culinary dangers will make your stomach churn. Join us as we unveil the shocking truth about these lethal foods that you should never, ever dare to eat. Let's get started. Number 1. Elderberries. First up, we're diving into the deceptive world of elderberries, the, the small, small fruit with a big secret. At first glance, elderberries seem like the perfect addition to any health-conscious pantry, touted for their immune-boosting properties and starring in syrups, teas, and even pies. But before you start foraging in your grandma's backyard, there's a twist you should know about. Elderberries hide a dark side beneath their glossy, deep purple exterior. Raw elderberries, along with the plant's leaves, stems, and seeds, contain a sinister substance known as cyanogenic glycosides. These compounds have the potential to release cyanide, a notorious poison, when digested. Yes, you heard it right. The same cyanide you've seen villainously used in spy movies is lurking in these innocent-looking berries. Now, don't panic and swear off elderberry pie just yet. When cooked properly, elderberries transform from potentially perilous to perfectly palatable as the cooking process deactivates the toxic compounds. But it's a fine line between a beneficial boost and a bitter end, making elderberries one of the deadliest foods you might be tempted to try. Number 2. Kidney Beans Let's spill the beans on kidney beans, the unsuspecting legumes that could turn your cozy dinner into a culinary cautionary tale. At first glance, kidney beans seem like the perfect heroes for your hearty chili or salad with their vibrant red coat and satisfyingly smooth texture. But don't let their good looks fool you. Raw or undercooked kidney beans are like the double agents of the food world. They contain a natural toxin called lectin, which can wage war on your stomach, leading to symptoms like nausea, vomiting, and an unforgettable episode of abdominal cramps. But fear not, we've got the antidote to this culinary conundrum, heat. A good old boil can turn these beans from foes to friends. Just make sure you give them a proper soaking and then boil them for at least 10 minutes to neutralize the mischievous lectins, transforming them back into the nutritious, fiber-packed delights they were meant to be. Because the only drama you want is the kind that comes with a side of cornbread, not a trip to the emergency room. Number 3. Blood Clams Dive into the shadowy waters of the culinary world and you'll discover blood clams, a delicacy that's as mysterious as it is menacing. These aren't your average clams. Known for their dark, blood-filled interiors, they're like the vampires of the sea, lurking in muddy estuaries from the coast of Africa to the shores of Southeast Asia. But before you invite them to your next seafood feast, there's a chilling tale you ought to hear. Blood clams have a rather eerie ability to retain bacteria and viruses, including hepatitis A, hepatitis E, and typhoid, more efficiently than your average shellfish. Why? It's all thanks to their unique living conditions. These clams thrive in low oxygen environments, which are hotbeds for all sorts of pathogens. So when you crack open a blood clam, you're not just getting a mouthful of briny goodness. You might also be getting a side of something far less savory. Now, you might be thinking, a quick cook should fix any pesky pathogens, right? Not so fast. The charm of blood clams lies in their raw or lightly cooked state, often served with a splash of lime to enhance their metallic taste. But this minimal preparation is exactly what turns them into a dicey dish. Just a brief encounter with heat leaves plenty of room for those hidden nasties to survive and thrive. In the grand buffet of the world's deadliest foods, blood clams are the guests you might want to think twice about inviting. 
because in the kitchen, as in horror movies, sometimes the scariest things are those that lurk unseen. Number four, apricot kernels. At first glance, apricot kernels might remind you of almonds with their similar shape and texture. You might even be tempted to throw a handful into your morning smoothie or homemade granola, lured by their supposed health benefits. But beware, for within each kernel lies amygdalin, a compound that's as treacherous as a pirate's curse. When ingested, amygdalin transforms into cyanide. Yes, you heard it right, cyanide, the notorious poison that has sealed the fate of many in history books and mystery novels. Now, the body can handle small amounts of cyanide, thanks to its trusty detox crew. But overindulge in these kernels, and you're setting the stage for cyanide poisoning, with symptoms that range from headaches and dizziness to the more severe trouble breathing and potentially fatal outcomes. Some proponents argue for the kernels' cancer-fighting potential, clinging to the belief that they can outsmart one of humanity's oldest foes. But science begs to differ, warning that the risks far outweigh any speculative benefits. So when it comes to these kernels, it's best to remember the old adage, all that glitters is not gold. Sometimes it's just a cleverly disguised danger waiting for a chance to show its true colors. Number five, rhubarb leaves. In the vibrant world of fruits and veggies, rhubarb stands out with its ruby red stalks and large green leaves. But before you think of it as just another leafy green to toss into your salad, let's delve into the darker side of those seemingly innocuous leaves. Yes, we're talking about the part of rhubarb you should never, ever put on your plate. The leaves. Rhubarb leaves are laced with oxalic acid, a compound that's as unfriendly as a Monday morning. This chemical culprit can cause some serious drama if ingested, leading to symptoms like burning in the mouth and throat, difficulty breathing, and even kidney stones. In severe cases, it can cause kidney failure or worse. It's like the plant's own version of a keep out sign, making sure you stick to the edible stalks and leave the leaves alone. But what counts as a dangerous encounter with these leaves? The lethal dose of oxalic acid can vary widely among individuals, influenced by factors such as body weight and overall health. However, it's generally agreed that even a small handful of these leaves can trigger symptoms severe enough to have you swearing off rhubarb for life. So the next time you're frolicking through your garden or perusing the farmer's market, you know what to do. When it comes to rhubarb, it's best to leaf well enough alone. Number six, live octopus. Venture into the culinary deep end and you'll encounter a dish that's not just food, but an experience. Live octopus. Known as sanakji in Korea, this delicacy is not for the faint of heart or the slow of chopstick. Imagine being served a plate of tiny wriggling octopus tentacles with suction cups seeking something to cling to and yes, that something might just be your throat. The live octopus, usually a small or baby octopus, is served fresh, sometimes whole, or more commonly, cut into bite-sized pieces while, while still, still alive. alive. It's often accompanied by a splash of sesame oil and a sprinkle of sesame seeds, adding flavor to the dish's already potent mix of texture and movement. But here's where things get tricky. Those suction cups, alive and kicking, can create a hazardous dining experience. They stick to everything, the plate, your chopsticks, and perilously, the inside of your mouth and throat. Eating live octopus is like participating in an extreme sport. Every year, on average, there are about six people who choke on this dish. A stark reminder that this culinary adventure can quickly become a misadventure. But why, you might ask? Would anyone willingly walk this tightrope between delicacy and danger? The thrill, the flavor, the sheer novelty of it all play their parts. There's something undeniably compelling about consuming a dish that's still moving. After all, 
Who doesn't enjoy a dish served with a side of adrenaline? Number seven, fugu pufferfish. Fugu is the pufferfish that's not just a meal, but a dare. Why? Because it's packed with tetrodotoxin, a toxin so potent that a tiny bit could send you to the big sushi bar in the sky. This toxin hides out in the fish's liver, ovaries, and skin. That's why making fugu safe to eat isn't something just any chef can do. In Japan, becoming a fugu chef is like going to ninja school for chefs with years of intense training. Imagine sweating over fish for years just to take an exam with a pass rate of only 30%. It's tougher than most final exams, but here, flunking could mean someone's dinner turning deadly. Talk about pressure. The magic of fugu lies in the thrill. It's served so thinly sliced it's almost see-through, a testament to the chef's knife skills. Eating it gives a tingling sensation, a cheeky reminder from the fish that says, I'm delicious, but dangerous. It's this edge-of-your-seat dining experience that draws the brave, or maybe just the crazy, to try it. Despite its notoriety, fugu mishaps are rare, thanks to strict rules on who gets to wield the knife around this fish. But the risk adds a dash of excitement to the meal, making it more than just food. It's a story to tell, assuming you're around to tell the tale. Number 8. Monkey Brains All right, buckle up because we're venturing into a topic that's not just bizarre but also shrouded in controversy. Monkey Brains. This dish often associated with exotic and forbidden feasts, is as controversial as it gets, teetering on the edge of urban legend and unsettling reality. The idea of chowing down on monkey brains might conjure up images of Indiana Jones-style adventure dining, but the reality is far from cinematic. Our primate cousins harbor diseases that are all too ready to jump the species barrier. One of the most alarming is Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, a brain disorder that leads to a swift and severe decline in mental function and, eventually, death. Monkeys are also carriers of other diseases, such as herpes B virus, which can be transmitted to humans and result in severe neurological impairment or even death. It's like Russian roulette, but with a dining table instead of a revolver. Now, you might be wondering, what are the chances you're going to get offered a plate of deadly monkey brains on your next trip to Asia? Well, there's no need to worry, because more often than not, they're the subject of sensational stories rather than a menu item. While the consumption of monkey brains is reported to be a practice in some parts of the world, it's far from a widespread culinary trend. So let's keep our culinary adventures safe and savory, leaving the monkey business to the movies. Number 9. Stonefish The stonefish is a creature that could easily win the least likely to be eaten award, if there ever was one. The name might evoke images of a creature as inert as a rock, but don't be fooled. The stonefish's claim to fame, or infamy, lies in its potent venom, a cocktail of toxins that can cause excruciating pain and, in severe cases, paralysis or even death. Imagine a fish so venomous that stepping on it accidentally is a medical emergency, and now picture trying to eat it. But here's where it gets interesting. In some parts of the world, particularly in regions of Asia, stonefish is actually considered a delicacy, prepared by specially trained chefs who know just how to sidestep the venomous bits. Stonefish dishes toe the line between a unique dining experience and a call to poison control. Now, you might wonder, what does stonefish taste like? Those brave enough to try, it described the flavor as mild and the texture as delicate, a surprising contrast to its deadly nature. But before you let curiosity get the better of you, remember, this is a dish where the preparation doesn't just require skill, it requires courage. Maybe leave this one to the experts and keep your dining adventures a tad less venomous. The best meals are those that leave us full, not full of regrets. Number 10. 
Cassava. Cassava, also known in some circles as yucca, hides a dark secret beneath its earthy exterior. At first glance, it's just another root, humble and hearty, ready to take its place alongside potatoes and carrots in the vegetable hierarchy. But cassava is playing a long con. Raw, it harbors cyanogenic glycosides, chemicals that have the potential to turn into cyanide in your body. Yes, the very same cyanide that's the stuff of espionage and murder mysteries. Yet, there's no need to blacklist cassava from your diet just yet. The transformation from potential peril to delectable dish lies in the preparation. Peeling and thorough cooking break down those treacherous compounds, rendering the cassava harmless and ready to fulfill its destiny as a versatile and beloved staple in many cuisines worldwide. From fluffy, comforting fufu in West Africa to crispy, golden yuca fries, cassava proves that with a bit of culinary know-how, even the most dubious characters can turn over a new leaf. Number 11. Antifreeze. Now, why on earth would antifreeze be on a food list? It shouldn't, and that's the point. Antifreeze used to keep cars running in the cold contains ethylene glycol a sweet-tasting chemical that's as toxic as they come. This seemingly innocent substance, with its deceptively sweet flavor, could lead you down a frosty path to some chilling consequences if ingested. There have been unfortunate tales of antifreeze finding its way into food and drinks, leading to tragic outcomes. It's a sinister reminder that not everything sweet is safe. Ethylene glycol poisoning is no joke. It metabolizes into oxalic acid in the body, which can wreak havoc on the kidneys, leading to renal failure and, if untreated, can be fatal. Its initial symptoms are deceptively benign, mimicking those of alcohol intoxication, which can delay diagnosis and treatment, increasing the risk of permanent damage or death. Now let's be clear. You're not going to find antifreeze on any restaurant menu or in your grandma's secret recipes. But this is a cautionary tale of the importance of knowing exactly what's in our food and ensuring that what's meant for the car doesn't end up on the carving board. Number 12. Hakarl. Hakarl, or fermented shark, is Iceland's daredevil dish. This Icelandic specialty, made from the Greenland shark, undergoes a unique fermentation process where it's buried underground for several months, then hung to dry. The result? A dish that's as challenging to the olfactory senses as it is to the palate, renowned for its strong ammonia-rich scent and fishy taste. Eating hakarl is like embarking on a culinary expedition to the very edges of the flavor map, where the territories are marked, here be dragons. The Greenland shark, from which Hakarl is made, is itself a creature of survival, thriving in the deep, cold waters of the North Atlantic. But here's the kicker. When fresh, this shark's flesh is poisonous, packed with trimethylamine oxide, a substance that can wreak havoc on the human body. The ancient Vikings, not ones to be deterred by a little thing like toxicity, discovered that fermenting the shark made it edible. Talk about extreme meal prep. But be warned, your taste buds may not thank you for this journey into the heart of Viking cuisine. The pungent aroma of Hakarl has been likened to a potent mix of cleaning products and the great outdoors, and its flavor is an acquired taste that many find challenging to acquire. Yet, for those brave enough to take a bite, Hakarl offers a tangible connection to Iceland's history a bite-sized piece of the island's tradition and survival against the odds. It's a dish that says, if you can eat this, you can handle anything. Number 13. Kasu Marzu. Kasu Marzu takes cheese to a whole new level. It's cheese that's alive. Well, sort of. This Sardinian specialty is made from sheep's milk cheese that's been deliberately infested with live insect larvae. Yep. Live maggots, are deliberately introduced to the cheese, resulting in a soft, spreadable delicacy that's both pungent and, for some, utterly delicious. 
The process begins with a standard pecorino cheese, which is then left outside, uncovered, inviting cheese flies to lay their eggs. As the larvae hatch, they eat through the cheese, breaking down the fats and giving it a soft texture and a very strong flavor. But consuming kasumarzu can be risky business. The live larvae, if ingested, can survive the stomach's hostile environment and bore into the intestinal walls, causing a serious condition known as pseudomyosis. Kasumarzu is illegal in the EU, but it's still made and consumed in Sardinia, flying under the radar of food regulation. It's a slice of Sardinian culture, a living, wriggling symbol of a way of life that defies modern sensibilities. Number 14. Pasta and Rice Did you know that if you leave cooked rice or pasta out of the fridge for too long, they can undergo a deadly transformation? These versatile ingredients have found their way into countless recipes, from comforting casseroles to exotic stir-fries. But here's the lowdown. Spores of a bacterium called Bacillus cereus commonly live in uncooked pasta and rice, just waiting for the right conditions to wreak havoc. Even the cooking process doesn't eliminate them entirely. When a rice or pasta dish is left to sit for several hours at room temperature, these spores can spring into action, multiplying and secreting harmful toxins known as enterotoxins. Once absorbed by our bodies, these toxins go on the attack, causing a range of unpleasant symptoms from vomiting to, in extreme cases, fatal liver failure. The scary part? Further cooking or reheating won't remove the toxins from your food. So, what's a pasta and rice lover to do? While it's not a foolproof solution, getting those leftovers in the fridge pronto is still your best bet for avoiding a potentially dangerous situation. Who would have expected such a betrayal from these heroes of the pantry? Number 15. Chicken McNuggets Next up, we've got a fast food favorite, Chicken McNuggets. These bite-sized delights have become a staple for many, offering a convenient and tasty treat. But here's the catch. While they might seem harmless, Chicken McNuggets can pose some risks if consumed excessively. Packed with high levels of fat and sodium, indulging in Chicken McNuggets on a regular basis can lead to health issues like obesity and heart disease. While enjoying them occasionally won't send you straight to the emergency room, making them a daily habit could have some not-so-favorable consequences for your health. But hey, don't let that discourage you from treating yourself every now and then. Just be sure to balance out the junk with plenty of fruits, veggies, and other nutritious choices. After all, a little indulgence now and then won't hurt, but making them a staple in your diet? Well, that's a nugget of wisdom worth remembering. Number 16. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. These earthy delights can add a burst of flavor to your dishes, but not all mushrooms are created equal. In fact, some varieties can be downright deadly if consumed. One of the most notorious toxic mushrooms is the Amanita phalloides, also known as the death cap. True to its name, ingesting even a small amount of this innocent-looking fungus can lead to severe liver damage and, ultimately, death. It's like playing a game of culinary Russian roulette with your liver on the line. But it's not just the death cap you need to watch out for. Other species like the destroying angel and the deadly gallerina pack a similarly deadly punch. So how can you tell the difference between a harmless mushroom and a deadly one? Unless you're a mycologist, it can be tricky. That's why it's best to leave mushroom foraging to the experts or stick to the ones you find in the grocery store. You never know when you might stumble upon a deadly cap in the wild and no snack is worth risking your life over. Number 17. Nutmeg. Nutmeg, often sprinkled into our favorite holiday treats, holds a hidden danger that might just leave you scratching your head. Believe it or not, Consuming too much of this humble spice can lead to a phenomenon known as nutmeg poisoning. Now, before you panic and throw out your pumpkin spice latte, let's get the facts straight. Nutmeg contains a compound called myristicin, 
which in small doses contributes to its distinctive flavor and aroma. However, in large quantities, myristeichen can have hallucinogenic effects. Yep, nutmeg can potentially make you see things that aren't there. It's like a spicy trip to Wonderland, but without the Cheshire Cat. But hold on, before you start adding nutmeg to your list of forbidden spices, let's put things into perspective. You'd need to ingest a significant amount of nutmeg to experience these hallucinogenic effects, far more than you'd typically use in your pumpkin pie or eggnog. Plus, consuming such large quantities of nutmeg can also lead to other unpleasant symptoms like nausea, dizziness, and rapid heartbeat. So, while nutmeg might add a dash of flavor to your holiday dishes, it's best to use it in moderation. Remember, too much of a good thing can sometimes be, well, a bit nutty. Number 18. Fruit Juice Let's squeeze out the truth about fruit juice. While it might seem like a healthy choice, especially when it's made from real fruit, there's a twist in this fruity tale. Fruit juice, despite its natural origins, can pack a sugary punch that's not so sweet for your health. When you juice fruit, you remove the fiber that helps slow down the absorption of sugar in your body. This means that, even though it's natural sugar, too much fruit juice can still lead to blood sugar spikes and all the not-so-fun consequences that come with it. But wait, there's more. Fruit juice often contains as much sugar as soda, making it a sneaky source of empty calories. Plus, without the fiber found in whole fruit, it's easier to consume large quantities of juice without feeling full. It's like a sugar rush in disguise. So, next time you're reaching for that glass of orange juice, remember, moderation is key. Opt for whole fruits whenever possible to get the added benefits of fiber and to avoid the sugar overload lurking in that innocent-looking juice box. Number 19. Giant Bullfrog Next, we're hopping into the world of the giant bullfrog, where danger lurks beneath its hefty exterior. This amphibious giant might seem like a curious delicacy, but beware, there's more to this frog than meets the eye. Found in parts of Africa and Asia, the giant bullfrog is a favorite dish in some regions. However, consuming its flesh can lead to some serious health risks. These frogs secrete toxins through their skin glands, which can cause paralysis or even death if ingested in large quantities. Even cooking might not eliminate all the toxins, leaving you with a risky game of culinary chance. So, while the idea of trying exotic cuisine might seem tempting, dining on the giant bullfrog could leapfrog you straight into trouble. So, next time you're considering a frog leg feast, think twice. The giant bullfrog might be big, but its risks are even bigger. After all, you don't want your adventurous palate to croak out on you. Number 20. Sushi. Sushi, with its tantalizing array of flavors and textures, might seem like a safe bet. But there's a catch you might not see coming. Recent studies have revealed an alarming increase in parasitic worms found in sushi fish. While our digestive systems usually fend off these invaders, ingesting contaminated sushi could lead to serious infections. In some cases, these worms can wreak havoc on your body, causing severe health issues. While most sushi chefs meticulously remove these parasites, accidents can still happen. Ingesting these worms can lead to uncomfortable symptoms or even severe infections. So, while sushi might tempt your taste buds, it's essential to choose reputable establishments and ensure proper handling and preparation. So, while you're enjoying your sushi roll, remember to keep an eye out for any unexpected guests. Thanks for watching another episode. Click the next video on your screen for more.